What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off up on last time, um, I pretty comprehensively blitzed through most of Northern Italy. Now we're going to be looking towards Venice to make up the difference. They are allied with Austria, which may cause complications. However, it appears Austria is actually um, having a very severe conversation with the Ottoman Empire and they've taken Vienna. So the interesting thing about this campaign is this may actually shift direction entirely and instead of fighting, looking to fight against Britain, France and Spain, we may end up going going east. But right now we don't really have the, the economy to do so. We're only making 1300 a turn because a few of our areas are being blockaded. So let's hit end turn. I don't like the, the fact that it missed the gong. I liked the end turn gong. Aha! Turns out it doesn't matter. France still wants to, f still fancies their chances. In which case, then, the army that is in Turin will continue to march west and they will go and engage the French. And we have to make. Well, we have to be. Um, make all efforts to increase our research to focus on on um, getting it towards fire by rank. So now it may actually make sense to temporarily trade with Venice in this scenario because it saves war with Austria. We get a confirmed unblockable trade route with a near ally. They're already friendly with us so it should still go through. I think this is pretty much a uh, just a win-win scenario here, I think. Ordinarily I would like to have taken Venice to capture the continent, but I think it would ultimately be the better thing to do. At least for now. Um, cause we do need... because they do represent a potential threat vector for us, and it's fortunate that our army is already looking eastwards towards the French, rather than looking you know, marching back towards Venice. And come on, Ottoman Empire, don't do this to me. Hmm, there goes one of their junk navies. So... Yes, I think, in general... Oh, well, by the, scene, by, by the looks of it, it, things are going to go fairly similar to how they were previously, um, despite my early optimism, literally about a minute ago. But at least I'm not at war with Britain. So watch that happen soon. <laughs> yep, so you've lost trade with France. Workers are rioting in Liguria. So if I send over a regiment of horse, that should be enough. Oh man, that's not very much cash, but we're about to open trade with other regions. Not the 13 colonies, I want Venice. That way, at least we secure a... <gasps> Unacceptable? What if I offer to pay you for it? Nope. Well, that's strange. Which was any major country can actually trade with this. Unless I try and... I mean, obviously I do want to turn on Spain. Actually, I'm not... No trade and I'll offer you nope not selling cast shot no way let's spend this money on rebuilding our forces if we can't do anything else with it that's the only like that's the only reasonable thing to do so what army do they have lots of line infantry some basic artillery okay so you're going to get empiricism so I can upgrade it to a college the next turn you're going to start going hard down these trees Got cast a shot and we got square, so my infantry should be fairly robust. Ooh. Let's combine some of these militia battalions so I can then get some 12 pounders over there. Before we start marching my line infantry up. Actually, let's make sure there's no. Well, they can all afford to do a bit of replenishment from this level. They're all quite low. Well, they're all quite close, actually. 
we've still got Genoa. That could be an annoyance, but they don't have a port to get to us, so that's okay. They're fairly comprehensively bottled up on their island. They do have a navy. Well, they did have a navy, unless it got destroyed by the French and Barbary states. But we're going to march up to Paris and knock out the French. Spanish are a concern, that's probably why I could, I would like to have a, a better navy, but right now with one school, my general rule is that when you've got one school you can't really afford to, um, well it's better to focus your effort, particularly when it comes to land and sea. So if I recruit, if I build naval techs, it's, I don't know, it feels like the navy contributes doesn't contribute as much as a land army does. I mean, they can be frustrating, they can block trade ports, and that's all very annoying, but if you don't have an army, then you can lose your home territories very easily. And I'd rather spend the technology research time on... No, don't intercept them. Maybe I should have intercepted them. Blast! Oh good, they left. Don't, don't do it. I mean, I'm going to auto it. I'm going to take on one of their light galleys. Got a horrible feeling they were going to go and blockade my port. I mean, I may as well take their ships into my service. So we've got Empiricism. I don't want to upgrade them yet, because I'd rather build... You've rebelled? should really have learnt that. So let's get you guys to march up. I'm not going to fight this, I'm just going to water that. Oh, well that's not annoying at all. If I take all of you guys sans cannons. Damn, that's very frustrating. I can't just chase them down and kill them. You're very unhappy, so let's send... You have to stay there. You guys can't recruit anything, because your, because your building is destroyed. I could do some Dragoons, but is that this unit? Horse Grenadier, Guards, Hussars... Dragoons. Dragoons are good for... Um, stability. Good for stability. Let's probably build this, rather than rebuild that because they're probably going to raid me like dogs. A port was temporarily blockaded. Sorry about that everyone, I had a weird click, everything froze. I kind of went, what the hell? Okay, I'm going to get my fifth rate up here and get this light galley down to Syracuse. No. Fifth rate. Take position of the port, the light galley take position in the in my dockyard so we've got a bit more of a robust fleet to take out their ships as they come at us so let's head and turn again can't really do a whole lot because we haven't got the money we need to put down the Genoese rebels pretty aggressively and then get that army back to Turin as quickly as possible because they are very upset And then they're going to march on. They're going to march on Paris. And then that will completely cut the French influence. Because then they'll be limited to Flanders and Strasbourg. And pretty much once I take Paris, I'll probably try and go for peace. But I doubt they'll let me have peace. Because, I mean, I've just taken their capital. And hopefully. On the way, I'll have killed quite a number of their ships and armies. Just, just go kill the Genoese rebels. March back to Turin with all speed. Prob they send let workers on strike. So they're going to rebel next turn. Minus one morale. Barber. 
Oh, watch out, it's got a well connected mistress. Darling of the gutter press. Good stuff. Too bad he's 48. You'd like them to be a bit younger than that. Let's move my rake up to Paris to get an idea of what's going on. start to build up our infrastructure in these regions so that's is 15,000 enough 1760 no so cobble road it is I'd like would like to build this guy up into a college let's see if we can get any more trade agreements Ooh, Sweden good day call them 13 colonies the money would be useful, but I don't want to give it away. Although, to be honest, they're probably going to get it anyway. Yeah, go on then. Except I'll offer to sell canister, and I'll demand 2,000. You want all of them for 4,000. Why not? I'm not at war with Britain, and you're probably not going to get rid of them. Probably not going to be at war with them that quickly. Never really like doing that. That could bite me in the ass, but let's find out. I'd like to send this ship out on a bit of a raiding expedition. They go raid their shipyard. The other shipyard is too close to their territory. Let's get them back to Syracuse, so that'll at least stop them from recruiting ships for a turn. We've got a trade pot down there, they can still recruit things. Cool. You guys recruit who you can and start marching on the French. All the while attempting to up-tier our technology as much as possible. I mean, canister, square formation of bayonets is pretty standard. But goddamn, I would love to get fire by rank, which is what we were very close to before my recording broke. So I'm on about four and a half minutes now. So I'm, oh, I'm on about twelve minutes overall for this for this um, for this video. So yeah, my plan is to, to re upload a string of Italian episodes specifically to make sure we progress this campaign as fast as possible up to an interesting point then to start mixing in the Ottoman campaigns and then start mixing in the two new campaigns which I still don't know what they are because we've still got just less than a day at the time of recording um, for them to be for the vote to be concluded so let's see so yep they've, re they've they have done some annoying things in Turin but they will soon stop we're about to load up with all of our troops. So the garrison bonus is through the roof. Let's upgrade the infrastructure. Can't recruit there, but let's get the ordnance factory to get stuff. Actually, do we need 12 pounders? Not really. Demi cannons for now. Do what we need to do. And we're not going to start. We're not rushing for howitzers yet, so. Fixing this would be useful. But again, so would in increasing the roads here. And taxing you guys would also be helpful. 4,600, that's a lot of cash. And let's get our... Our fixed light galley. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Got a light galley in port, let's go to the trade port. How do you like it, Barbary States? Although this was already still broken. That navy's retreated into there. So you could go for this army here, but right now my focus is on the near. As soon as we start earning lots more cash, then I will start to recruit a bigger army here. It's frustrating me they won't... Ooh, the Mughals. Let's trade with the Mughal Empire. No, I'm not giving you anything. I'm not doing, especially not giving away some of my core territory. Nope. 
Spend some more money on replenishment. That's why Rake does a bit of scouting in the French territory. Because it would be mighty fine if I could slip up to France without engaging any of them. But I doubt they're going to let us have that. Sorry about that. I absent-mindedly clicked onto my second monitor which reduced which minimized my recording and cut the recording so i'm probably on about plus 15 ish <laughs> uh, so i got to remember for my recording on the side window for this to get up to about plus 15 left ish it would be nice if we could get a couple of recordings done today built new iron workshops and got lots of stuff we can upgrade I can't I, I doubt I can move all of you out of Turin now I don't know this one militia might be able to bring it down to minus two so they'll complain and they'll riot screw regiment of horse it's got four grand to get the Royal Observatory, to get the increase in research rate, and to get more gentlemen, because I don't just need happiness. Let's check everyone's got the max roads that I can currently build. Well, near as damn it. So you guys to replenish. March on to Marseille. How's our tech going? One more turn to ring bayonets, then we speed for military syllabus. College will be done in two turns. Come on, let's build a line infantry unit in Rome. Let's also replenish this militia unit. Awesome. One more turn and we'll be ready. So you don't want to infiltrate Paris because that will that will increase the chance, or that'll provide an opportunity for them to kill our spy. Yep, so there. They are sending their troops down towards me. Is their navy coming down to create trouble? Could probably redo with building. We'll start building the odd fifth rates. Just to help scare off the smaller navies. Because it's been said before, I should have a navy. I never really should, but it's just not as useful for me right now. Like, if I had a stack of fourth rates, I'd be behind. Um, I'd have smaller armies, I'd have less infrastructure. I'd better pound them to hell in the sea, but if the French come at me with a couple of stacks, then I got nothing. So, let's ring bayonets researched. So, go straight on to military syllabus. Let's go Rhodes in Liguria. So you raid the port. We march up and just hit Bernard de Black up, Black up Smell. We lost a whole load more men there than we would need to we needed to. Holy hell. We'll try to take him out. Just because this area is actually quite useful to hold. Because we've got an area, like an action area, covering two bridges. And you know how I am about my bridge battles. Good, so Savoy got their coverymen, so they're now okay with me. Sweet. You're still growing your army. All this talk about recruiting more ships, or building more ships, and I didn't do it. So let's go and see if we can raid their port. They have fixed it. What about their trade port? They have fixed it. How cute. But we are ripe to attack. The way could be entirely clear. But this will not be the end of the French. It looks like their navy's coming to say hello, or is it just going to go kill the Barbary states? Please just do that. Good. Obviously we do have to worry about the Spanish, 
because it looks like the Stein Senate army to the south. Like that would be absolutely chaotic to attack Paris now because it'd be one stack against two big ones. Oh god. I saw the army marching towards Venice and thought, oh, that's no big deal. It's probably another Venetian stack, but it's actually an Ottoman stack. Oh my god. Go on, Venice, see him off. <gasps> that's really bad. Because, I mean, I am, I am going to be at war with the Ottomans, but I sure as hell don't want to be... sat here. Can you guys leave Turin? Yeah, you can. Okay, so let's gather. Start to gather my forces. Let's go to have a second general. And he can start to call up reinforcements. Because these guys, they're pretty elite. So we're not at war with the Ottomans, but do they like us? Probably. Although we're trading with them. But I'm going to want to force here, ready to hit Venice. Because they're definitely going to lose. We've got our college, so let's cut off some time in our research. Let's build that fifth rate. So what have you got? Mostly fifths? Fifths and light ships they've captured from other factions. You guys hold steady because I'm hoping the Spanish army comes south. Ooh, can you try and... No. Let's try and kill that general, but... No way, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so they've got an army here that looks pretty decent. There's a Spanish army here that's full of junk, but I'm hoping they'll be drawn to me like iron filings. Still can't trade with anyone because Crimea and, the, and Venice don't like me. There's no point making peace with Genoa. Peace and trade with the new Spain. Let's just make money, Spain. So if I did that... Damn. It would mean giving up this territory for now, but it also mean I wouldn't have to, have to worry about this Spanish army here. Um, but let's then turn and see what the hell happens with Venice. Because right now I'm trading with the Ottomans, and I would need to weigh up. Is it worth actually being at war with the Ottomans? Or holding Venice? Because Venice is a valuable territory, but I don't have the income to fortify it. Which is what I would want to do if I was going to take Venice. But I need forces in place to hold their own, at the very least. Hmm. I think it just calls for building our economy. That's what we need. Yeah, you're on strike, but now you're okay. God, the Ottomans have taken that territory. We just need to call out more infantry, because if they attack our small army there, we'll need to hold the bridges. Probably something like that would be best. Maybe another unit of infantry. You guys, I thought you fully replenished. Get my spy back up to Paris. Okay, looks like they're actually deciding to hunker down, which is not what we wanted. But this is very alarming. Good way to touch. Okay, so it, there is a because from back here that looks like it all blends into one. But you know the Ottoman Empire front line is up here. Who are they at war with? Austrian Russia. So they got 
plenty of stuff to be getting on with. In Venice, it looks like it might actually rebel. But that's a very big threat on our flank right there. Not that it bothers me that much, because it gives us more time to tech up for our attack towards Paris. Which we'll need if we're going to try and fight two stacks of troops. We need a pretty good technology advantage over the French to pull that off. The French and Spanish to pull that off. But at least we're not at war with Britain at this time. That's something we've been spared. But let's see. God, the Portuguese almost lost their entire fleet trying to destroy those pirates. When I take France, I'd like to use their Western, their Atlantic side ports to send ships to the trade theatres. That's what I'd like to do. So we've got military syllabus straight on to building the drill school which we can afford luckily don't do carbines do probably basic steam pump because we've got what's wealth by mines though and it reduces the cost of building them but we've got lots of buildings but we want this we want coke blast furnace really there we go physiocracy that's a standard Really good. Political tech. As our army gathers. In the face of such massive danger. The Spanish are really stacking up their army. But yeah, ideally I don't want to march on Paris until I've got fire by rank. Because... Otherwise, we're going to get swamped by poor quality troops, most likely. Even then, they're not going to be that bad. They're going to be... well... There is that Spanish stack. The Paris will get a full garrison, and there's about one and a half stacks worth of French troops loose in France. So I'm not sure I'm going to want to waste my troops marching forward like that. Just keep building our strength to at least withstand the Ottomans because, oh my god, that's another stack in Trieste ready. But yeah, our, our army upkeep is actually starting to really cut into us. So this guy's plus five. No, he's not plus five army. He's better, better the navy. Plus five for the army. Well, I guess can, can, that gets cancelled out by the amusing cad. Okay, you're plus five army as well. Then you get bonuses for building buildings. Hmm. There's only so long we can do this, so I think I need to start building a bit of a war chest. Because when I make a move on... Or, things could go really bad, I try and make peace with France, pull out and attack the Ottomans. Looks like the Spanish have taken Copenhagen, so the Danes are rele relegated to the relegated to the um, to Iceland so the god the Ottomans are starting to turn into the real superpower here so there's the rebels that's so dangerous 
I'm going to have to try and make peace with France for this and start waging war against the Ottomans. If I can even get peace, which is no guarantees I can, because you can't just have two stacks unchallenged in your city. Not in your city, but, you know, in your borders. But this all relies on the idea that you can, that I can actually make peace with France. But we need to see who is at, who's allied with. Oh, of course you did. So they're starting to engage economic war against me, which is fair enough because I don't really have a navy. That'll teach me. So we are now bankrupt, but or we're projected to be bankrupt. But I'm pretty sure if I just take all these ships and attack. The fleet, they'll be supported by the 5th rate that's in here and the 6th rate that's out here. And we will take your ship from you. So now we're only partially bankrupt. Damn, 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 damn. Okie doke. So we can start on one turn could cancel no I don't want to, I can't cancel building a drill school okay major nation France peace and trade peace trade and I'll give you military syllabus hmm 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 what to do well, it's also this guy that's causing us problems but we can't get to him without I don't know or can we I can't get to them I'm really loath to cancel building that Three hundred is a gun and an infantry team. One hundred and seventeen. Keep okay, us slightly positive, and there's nothing for it. Well, I'll say there's nothing for it. So still eight turns away. You have to do something. Start the advance towards the French. Hope we can engage Spanish outside of the city. And hope the Ottomans play ball. Which I sincerely hope they do. Literally, as soon as I say that. This is it. I need to abandon my French front. Or try and make peace with them. Such that my army's slingshot back to... Back into Italy. So I don't waste my move. Because right now, at the very least, the French aren't attacking us. Oh, they're gathering their fleet. I'm not going to fight this. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going to hail Mary with an auto resolve. I was not going to fight that naval battle. So we've still got a bit of a problem of being partially bankrupt. So France, peace, trade, and alliance. Okay, what about just peace? Peace and trade. Okay. I'm loath to do this. Make sure we're not building anything in Turin. Okay, 
France. Peace, trade, alliance, and offer Savoy. What? Peace, trade, and what if I just offer? Is Savoy? So I can't get a lovely, cheap catapult of my armies. I have to just run. Or weirdly, it's probably... No, it'll take two turns for me to delete these troops and recruit them here and run them over. You've just got to hold firm. You've got to start researching fire by rank immediately. But, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I hope you've enjoyed this slight twist. And I'll bring you to the next episode of the start of our campaign against the, the Ottoman Empire. Because we're not going to let this stand. Not one bit. Radio. Cheers, everyone.